Come wow. They are your children. Amen. You brought them to this world. Amen. Take care of them. Amen. Teach them the word of God. Teach them good values in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Make your generation the way you want it to be in Jesus' mighty name. What is your CPW? Salbiate hapo watoto kina pay ni kwa na CPW. Hallelujah. Nashukuru Mungu even for being with you in the house of God. Na kwa hivyo niko nashukurani kwa Mungu wetu kwa sababu ya mahali ambapo ametufikisha. Bwana asifiwe. Kuliasa mwaka tukasema we are walking with God. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Wakati wamefurahia kutembea na Mungu, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuwe milima na mabonde tumetembea na yeye. Hallelujah. Na tukaiba ya kwamba mahali pita inachacha anatubeba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe and we are here today kusema ya kwamba yeye ni Ebenezer. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. He has been our rock. He has been our God. He has walked with us hand in hand in Jesus mighty name. Na tuko na shukurani mbele ya Mungu wa mbinguni ametutenda mema katika jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Tumetoka tumerudi. Watoto wametoka wamerudi. Na kwa ajili ya neema ya Mungu amekuwa mlinzi na kiongozi. Ni wakati wa rabi ya Mungu asante. That I have walked with you my God. Kutoka Januari hadi Disemba, wengine wako wameingia high school wameingia. Wengine wamesoma mwaka wa kwanza shuleni. Wengine hawako wameokoka wamepokea Yesu. Tuseme nini si tushukuru Mungu wetu. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu ni mwema asubuhi ya leo. I am happy to be in the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I like being in the presence of God. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And when you are in the presence of God, may you receive the spirit of revelation. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maana tukikosa kupata utunuo, ni unakuta ya kwamba Yaani we look for other things to do and we become restless. May you receive the spirit of revelation. Paul akaombea wa Epeso, akasema ya kwamba that did our obey. Macho yetu yatiwe nuru ili kuweze kuona kile Mungu amewawekea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Walking with our God. We have walked with our God. Praise the name of the Lord. Saa hii tunahesabu wiki na masiku ya 2022. Naitaenda haitarudi tena but we praise the king of kings that he has walked with us. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Tunasikia kushukuru Mungu wetu. Kwa ajili amekuwa mwaminifu kwa sababu ametubeba. And we have been prisoners of peace. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Prisoners of hope na tutaona makuu na hatujaona yale Mungu anataka kutuonyesha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Na furaisho na Mungu wetu kwa sababu bado tunamgojea. Yeye hafungi mwaka tukifunga. Biblia inasema mbinguni hakuna usiku wa mchana. Sijui utahesabu masiku waje mbinguni. Sisi ndio tunahesabu. He is a God of all seasons. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe. Na furaisho na huyu Mungu. Praise the name of the living God. And he has been with us. He has walked with us and he has been faithful Amen. and he has never changed. Amen. He December last time he who called me has never changed. Amen. He who made me to feel something has happened and changed my life forever. He has never changed. Aliyeye afatia ahadi nikasisimuka hajawahi badilika. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Aliyeye ahidi ya kwamba nikifika nitapewa zawadi haja wa ibadilika kile alikuwa hitia haja wa ibadilika endelea kumgojea kwa sababu analete katika jina la Yesu his name is the rock of ages praise the name of the lord his name is the chief cornerstone jina la bwana lisifiwe praise the name of the lord hallelujah nataka kuongea tu kwa ufupi about the rock jesus christ praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Constant benefits from the rock, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
Praise the name of Jesus. Vijana wametuimbia wakasema Yesu ni mwamba. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe. Na kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu wetu siku ya leo. He has walked with us as he walked with the children of Israel. Hadi mwisho hata sisi atatembea na sisi. Ameahidi ya kwamba that he is with us until the close of the age. Praise the name of Jesus. Katika Biblia 1 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 1 to 4. Nikependa kujue ya kwamba that that Jesus Christ is the rock of our salvation and you can get benefits from him. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu aheshimiwe. Biblia inasema for I do not want to be ignorant of the fact brothers that our forefathers were all under the cloud and that they all passed through the sea. They were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. They all ate the same spiritual food and drank the same spiritual drink for they drank from the rock, from the spiritual rock that accompanied them and that the rock was Christ. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Kama vile tunajua even about the rocks. Inaweza kaa kwako for a long time. Na usijua itakusaidia na mnagani. Lakini rocks, they do a great work. Lakini istaki kwenda hiyo direction because we know Jesus Christ as the rock of our salvation. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Bibine inasema ya kwamba that the children of Israel walipokuwa wanatembea katika jangwani Mahali moja wakafika Biblia inasema ya kwamba on the book of Exodus 17 verse 6 wakasikia ya kwamba wamepata kiu na walikuwa wanahitaji maji na the bible is telling us that that uh wakamwambia Musa they need water hata nasi katika wakati mwingine katika jambo ya dunia hii kuna wakati tunasikia kiu tunapopitia janga tunapopitia mambo mazito Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba that the people were thirsty for water there and they grumbled against Moses. They say, why did you bring us out of Egypt to make our children and livestock thirst? Verse 6. Hallelujah. I will stand there before you by the rock at Horeb. Strike the rock and water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses did this in the sight of all Israel. One thing in Gependa we never be a kwamba. Kama bide tunajua. The Old Testament is a shadow of the New Testament. Bwana Yesu sipiwe. Yale ya likuwa ya kaonyeshwa katika bibilia in the Old Testament. Katika agano jibia ilikuja ikatimika. When you find the rock even in the Old Testament. In the New Testament ni Jesus Christ. Amai anaonekana na ndio maana utakuta ya kwamba in the old testament there is a, there are so many words the rock lakini in the new testament there are few because the real rock has appeared na biblia inasema ya kwamba wakati walisikia kiu Mungu akasema ya kwamba ya kwa Musa akasema akaambiwa na Mungu nitasimama mbele zako katika mwamba hore gonga jiwe Na maji ya katoka Ili watu waweze kunywa Na musa katenda haya Bele wa israeli wote Nikependa ujue ya kwamba Bele piti ya kwanza kuwa From the rock is salvation Bibiria inatuambia Jiwe apalo nilikuwa jangwani Tio mpano wa yesu kristo Alie kuja akateswa Wakati aligongwa Tukapata uponyaji Wakati alipigwa Tukapata
Jesus. 
Yesu asipiwe Numbers 24 and verse 21 Hallelujah Amen Hallelujah Then he saw the Kenites and uttered his oracle Your dwelling place is secure Your nest is set in a rock Amen Bwana Yesu asipiwe These people that were called the Kenites Walitenga Kyoto Chao Wale ambao wanajua Mahali dene wanaka Wanajenga na nyasi Na wanaweka nyumba yao kwa muti Lakini hawa Walio kuwa wanaitu wa Kenais Bibiria inasema ya kwamba Your dwelling place is secure Your nest is in a rock Bwana Yesu asipiwe Praise the name of the Lord Our nest is in the rock Our security is in the rock Praise the name of Jesus in the rock we get security. Jabra tatu ni kusema ya kwamba katika mwamba we are secure in the rock Jesus Christ. Oh hallelujah. Kumbe akawa hawadu walijua ukijenga nyumba katika mwamba hakuna wakati itatingizika. Hakuna wakati itabebo na mafuriko. Hakuna wakati hiyo nyumba itainama kwa maana imejengwa katika msiki ibara. Yesu Christo Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Kuwa mkristo wabaye amejenga msingi katika mwamba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asubuhi tulikuwa tunafundishwa kuhusu false teachers. Hawa false teachers walikuwa wanafundisha mafundisho ya kupotoka na wako kila mahali. False false teachers wako hadi kwa mashule. Tulikuwa tunawaona wakati wetu unless waliondoka katika nyakati hizi lakini walikuwako wanakuja wanaanza kufundisha habari ya Yesu peke yake hakuna roho takatifu hakuna Mungu Baba wanafundisha vitu kama hizo wengine wanadai watu watu wanakuambia sio lazima ushike hii wokovu sana lazima wakati mwingine unaondoka nataka kukwambia ya kwamba hao watu walikuwa wanaitwa Kenizite they build their house on a nest, on a rock. Walipo jenga hiyo nyumba, unakuta ya kwamba, their dwelling place is secure. They build their house there. Lakini bibiria inasema ukiendelea kuzoma, kuna mahali, wanabiwa ya kwamba, walipo toka mahali pale, waliena wakashiko mateka. Nata kusema nini, when you leave the rock, you go na unashiko mateka. Unaasa kukotoshwa, unaasa kudanganywa, na hiyo tumekata katika jina la Yesu. We are going to dwell on the nest that is set up in a secure place in Jesus mighty name. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe, wendi wa minge rock, hawitati wanadamu, hawaisa kukulinda, utalini wanamungu wa minguni, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be secure. Hey, rapo shaka rabayanda, you shall in Jesus name Bwana Yesu asifiwe Najua watu wanahitaji security sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kwa sababu niliona mfalme sifiki wa wapi Ametafuta amenundua ame robot yenye inamulinda hata ukisikia vile inatembea hadi hata unaweza kuogopa Inasemekana iko na, na mabunduki Machine gun, iko sifi na mabom, iko sifi na nini Because watu wanaikaji security And it is very expensive But we are secure in God Amen. We are secure in the rock of ages Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe Usiishi kusema wachawi watakukuta Ya kwa wachawi watakuronga Sijui kutaeta na mnakami The Bible says there is no witchcraft against Jacob Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe Praise the name of the Lord Hautatetemeshwa na wanadamu Hautatetemeshwa na mapepo Hautatetemeshwa na shetani mwenyewe Because the devil is proud Alikarebushwa kuchili hapa duniani Na sisi, we are going to walk in humility Hata kuwa na napasi dani yetu Praise the name of the Lord Our life is secure in God Praise the name of Jesus Wana Yesu asifiwe Praise the name of the Lord our security is now and in the life to come. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwimbaji akaimba akasema ya kwamba 
Nasema ya kwamba Fami as his throne His throne is star And he can well secure That which have committed to him Against that day Praise the name of the living God Bwana Yesu wa sipiwe Bwana Yesu wa sipiwe Ni kama ni beseba hile verse Tulikuwa tunaulizwa Bwana Yesu wa sipiwe Praise the name of Jesus Oh hallelujah That Jesus in the new Jerusalem He shall secure a place for us Hallelujah We are secure in God Bwana Yesu wa sipiwe Si upenda mungu wakati uko mdogo Because the journey shall be sweet And you shall have security In Jesus mighty name Amen. Hallelujah Hallelujah Jesus My Lord I know his name His name By only oh, oh. And he Will not Put my heart To shame No
Praise the name of the living God. Oh, hallelujah. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Si watu wapate ufunuo. Wajue ya kwamba mwamba imara vya tunajihitaji. Mwimbaji mmoja akaiba, akaiba akasema rock of ages crept for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of the living God. Jesus Christ is the rock of ages. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Si tusidi kumpenda. He is our rock. He is our salvation. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu aingudiwe. Anapiga na vita yetu. Ukisoma katika Biblia katika kitabu cha Daniel chapter 2 na sadi kusoma kwa sababu ni mahali ni passage mrefu. Biblia inasema ya kwamba Nebukadnezar aliota ndoto na alipoota ndoto akaona mfano aka, akaona mfano wa wa, wa uliokuwa umesimama mbele yake. Kichwa ilikuwa dhahabu, shingo ilikuwa shaba kifua kilikuwa shaba pia na inaendelea ku explain miguu ilikuwa ya brass na matope na hiyo mfano ilikuwa mfano iliyokuwa ambayo imeinuliwa na biblia inasema ya kwamba daniel akaweza aka akatafsiri ile ndoto na akasema ya kwamba hiyo kichwa cha dhahabu ni kuabudu ama watu wao wanajiinua and not the true god na ikasema ya kwamba ikaendelea kuelezea kila sehemu ikasema hadi wa upame wake utakawanyika na mimi ndiye nasema ya kwamba jambo ambalo linanifurahisha verse 35 mimi ndiye nasema ya kwamba the iron the clay the bronze the silver and the gold were broken into pieces bwana yesu asifiwe sijui ni jambo gani lisimama mbele zako maana mimi ndiye natuambia ya kwamba ikasiamwa the wind swept them away without leaving a trace. Ikasia na yopano yote. The habu, tena, shaba, matope. Hata ikuwe na julikana inakana magani. Biblia inasema hivi. The wind swept them away. But the rock that struck the stature became a huge mountain and filled the whole earth. That is Jesus Christ. Jiwe likatoka, likaudekana, likitoka mahali, likakuja, likasiana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni nini mekusumbua? Na kuna jiwe za yuni, amaro nakuja kusiana, ya na mbamba imesimama bele ya uso wako. In the mighty name of Jesus, kugengana bale mengengana. There is a stone in Zion. There is a rock, Jesus Christ. Amaya kona gugu ya kusiana, katika jina la Yesu, praise the name.
Oshele Bakasa, Rima Shote Kasila Babanda. We worship you, our God. Hakuna Mungu Kama Wewe. Wewe ni Mweza. Wewe ni Mweza. Wewe ni Mweza. Wewe ni Mweza, Bwana. Tuna kushukuru. Madui wa imani yetu. Madui wa familia zetu. Madui wa huduma. Madui hata wa naivasha. Bwana wa mabwana. Uneachiria jiwe. La pembeni. Uneachiria kusiaga. Karika jina la yesu. Itakapo angaliwa. Utangaria utiulize. Ilikuwa inakana unagami. Mada mibiria imesema. Hakuta kuwa na kutofa utisha. Ya kwa mahii. God is well able. Hakuna jambo lina ushinda katika jina la Yesu. Praise the name of the living God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hizi mipano za mgengano katika maisha. Unajaribu kuingia mahali unashindwa. Let the rock Jesus Christ even come in Jesus mighty name. Shara roka sila baganda. Father we exalt your name. Because you are worthy. Tumepata ufunuo kwana. Kama ulio patuwa na ponda petro. Alipo sema ya kwama. Jesus Christ. You are the Lord. Jesus Christ. You are the son of God. Get this revelation. That the son of God. Hakuna kitu wa majwa na mina mshinda. Oh hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Mwabie mwana ni saidie. Kuweza kushinda. Mana ni kopa moja na wewe. Oh Bita ni mekua muda murefu Bibiria ya sema ya kwamba Bita itaendelea Muda murefu katikati ya nyumba ya Sauli Na nyumba ya Daudi Lakini bibiria ya sema Ya kwamba nyumba ya Daudi Ikaendelea kuwa na nguvu Na ya Sauli ikaendelea kuwa naifu Na kini siku ya leo Jeho mamuku wetu Maisha yetu ya kiroho Wacha ikuwe na nguvu Wacha madui Jesus, you are our security. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, our God. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Jesus Christ, the one of our God, he is our place for us to offer and sacrifice. What are you saying? He is our sacrifice offering place. Siju ya kizungu inakana nakana. Praise the name of Jesus. Dia mahali petu pa kupeana sada kazetu. When we give our sacrifice to the rock of ages, we have confidence ya kwamba simefika in Jesus mighty name. Bwana isu wa sifiri. Praise the name of Jesus. Siju ya kama kuna. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. That he is our place. You are sacrifice offering. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Bwana Yesu ayulie. Hakuna mahali pengine tunaweza peleka sadaka zetu. It is only where Jesus Christ is. Amen. That is the best place. The safest place to take your offering. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana wa majeshi ayulie. Bwana aheshimiwe. Kuna kitu nilikuwa nataka kuonyesha lakini naona kama Tumechelewa, wana isu wa sifiri. Hallelujah. He is the only place we can offer our sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. Sadaka ambaso tunatoa. We give them to God and then they are received by men. Hata ukiona ikiesabiwa na wanadamu. The moment ina ingia in the offering basket, you are given to God. That is the only place we can offer our sacrifices. Wana isu wa sifiri. Kwa hivyo mungu wetu atusaidie. So that when we offer our sacrifices, we offer them to the rock. That is the best place. Hapo ndipo, haiwezi kapotea. Bwana Yesu wa iguliwe. Praise the name of Jesus. 
Sijui unasikia siku ya leo. What do you want the rock to do for you? And he is here today in Jesus mighty name. Bifungia Bwana Yesu mwambie ni asante. Mwambie asante Bwana. Thank you Jesus. You are my victory over every barrier. Oh, mifano yote leo simama mbele zetu. Sisi ni washindi. Sijui familia yenu ni nini inawasumbua. Kuna watu hata wakijaribu biashara hawezi wakafanikiwa. Kuna watu wanapotwa na mashida mbalimbali, wanaengana katika maisha. The rock of ages is here. What do you want him to crush today? Praise the name of the living God. Because he is our God and he is well able. Pigia Vanesu Makofi. Hallelujah. When we are with him, we are more than conquerors. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Tukumuliwe Bibiria zetu nikimalizia. In Judges chapter 6 verse 18. Bibiria yasema ya kwamba Judges chapter 6 verse 18. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Jesus we praise you. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Judges 6 verse 18 wakati wakati Gideon alipata ufunuo ya kwamba ya kwamba ni malaika anaongea na yeye ya kwamba presence ya Mungu iko mahali pale Biblia inasema ya kwamba uh, alimwambia malaika usitoke mahali pale hadi ni, ni peane sadaka yangu Bwana Yesu asifiwe imagine unakuwa bold kuambia malaika nikoje nilete sadaka and he went and prepared Oh, hallelujah. He is our place of offering. Na yeye, dia na shumurikia sadaka zetu. Na yeye, kamwabia ya kwamba, I will wait until you come. Verse 19. Bipire ya seba ya kwamba, Gideon went and prepared a young, a young goat from a, an ephah of blood and bread without yeast, putting the meat in a basket and eat, and brought them an offer to him. Verse 20. Bibiria inasema the angel of God the angel of God said to him take the meat and the unleavened bread place them on this rock Bwana Yesu asifiwe and pour it pour out the broth praise the name of Jesus Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Gideon akasema ya kwamba ningoje nikuje Bwana Yesu asifiwe when you are giving your offering to the rock of ages, how ufanya bibitu wa raka raka, ati nini ni sahi mepata, unatoa, you are supposed to prepare yourself. Wana isu asipiri. Aka sema wacha niende, nilete. Na unigoje. Ata kama wani malaika, nigoje. Hallelujah. And he got instructions from the angel. Kitu wabacho inapanya to miss. We give our offerings a miss. We don't understand where we offer or who we give our offerings. Tunafikiria ya kwamba, tunapatia wanadamu. And in the process, tunakosa kubarikiwa. But I would like you to have this mind. Ya kwamba, give your, and uyu, give your naliambiwa. Ya kwamba, pour it out. Place them on this rock. Praise the name of Jesus. Sataka zetu tunawekerea juu ya muamba. Praise the name of the Lord. Hagyarishi nawekerewa wapi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sijui kama hizi vitu za sitaangalia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuendele kusoma. Biblia inasema ya kwamba with the tip of the staff that was in his hand, the angel of the Lord touched the meat and the living bread. Fire flared from the rock, consuming the meat and the bread. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Biblia inasema ya kwamba. Amen. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna sadaka inachomeka na ingine inakaa kama kundi na yeshewa. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says that he blessed, he was told to bless his, to assume his sacrifice yake. See you this is his sacrifice. Anatolea mungu. Bibiria inasema ya kwamba. Alipo 
wekelea ilikuwa na kijiti akaambiwa awekelee alipowekelea Biblia inasema ya kwamba moto ukatoka from the rock to assume this is the rock fire came from the rock ikachoma dhabihu ya Gideon Bwana Yesu asipime sijui kama dhabihu yako inachomekanga praise the name of the lord moto ukatoka katika mwamba na ukachoma dhabihu ya Gideon this is what happens when we give our sacrifice tukijua ya kwamba tunatolea Mungu aliye hai Bwana Yesu asipime na Biblia inasema ya kwamba hata moshi ukaelekea juu na ulipoelekea juu Biblia inasema ya kwamba Gideon akapata ushindi akapiga wakapigania Waisraeli na tena akapata amani na yeye akajenga madhabahu akaita Mungu Jehovah Shalom praise the name of the Lord when you are sacrifice back before God itoe sadaka kama manukato mbele za Mungu wetu kama vile unaona hiyo moshi ikienda Mungu wetu anafurahia anakutenda miujiza you live there with a testimony yani alimtoka akisema yeye ni Jehovah Shalom kwa sababu alifurahisha Mungu kadi wa sacrifice back before God kwa sababu ya vile umetitolea kwa sababu haikujaitoa ovyo ovyo may the king of kings help us this morning lakini kuna sadaka ingine ambayo inatolewa haleluya ambayo inatolewa sadaka haiwekwi mahali ambapo pako na mwamba unajua moto inatoka hapa kwa mwamba so mtu anakuja anaelekelea sadaka yake mahali popote anasema wacha nitoe wacha tu niende wacha tu niende for the sake si hata watu wengine wanaendanga tu kushirika wanaenda maombi without any sacrifice how to today hakuna kitu una lose you are losing nothing in your life unakuwa mtu ambaye you are walking an ordinary life you don't want to sacrifice in prayer you don't want to sacrifice in your giving alafu wakati tunafanya hivyo we become ordinary people muonyeshe ya kwamba hata mtu wa Mungu akijaribu kuwasha moto haiwezi ikawaka wacha tuone kama hii inaweza kuwaka haiwezi ikawaka kwa nini it is given in the wrong place nataka kusema nini wakati hata unatoa sadaka yako ujue unatolea ndani ya kwanza tuliona ya kwamba it was given on the rock and the rock represents Jesus Christ wakati wote hata unakuja kutoa sadaka have the mind unamtolea ndani kuna watu ambao wanasema ya kwamba tunaenda kutolea pasta tunaenda kutolea hiyo kanisa wanapenda kukula pesa yetu kanisa siku hizi ni pesa kanisa siku hizi unaambiwa uache kazi yako ukaombe and i want to tell you like this that your sacrifice will have no fire it will go nowhere si Mungu wetu atusaidie ili sadaka zetu ziweze kukubalika mbele za Mungu and this is a sacrifice that is unacceptable nataka kukuambia nini pendwa when you give a sacrifice it is for your own benefit hakuna mtu unasaidia you are helping yourself when you plant in the house of god ni wewe unajifurahisha kwa sababu inarudi kwako bwana yesu asifiwe Mungu wetu atusaidie kuna watu wanatoa sadaka zao kama mtu alikuwa anaitwa Gideon ukisoma i think in Judges 11 anaitwa Jephtha Biblia inasema ya kwamba Jephtha wakati alishinda vita alisema Mungu kile nitakutana nacho ndio nitakupatia kile chochote yeyote akakutwa na msichana wake mmoja na hakuwa na mtoto mwingine unataka kusema hiyo sadaka ilimfurahisha haikumfurahisha do you want your sacrifice or your offering iwe inakufurahisha praise the name of the lord na one thing nimejua ya kwamba when i give when i sacrifice in prayer when i when i sacrifice in worshiping god unajua sacrifice sio tu pesa it's not only about money when i sacrifice in worship when i sacrifice in preaching when i sacrifice in winning soul sadaka yangu inachomeka mbele za Mungu na hakika ninabarikiwa ni wewe utabarikiwa katika jina la Yesu are you ready to receive your blessing bwana Yesu asifiwe biblia inasema ya kwamba ya kwamba give even your bodies as living sacrifice sadaka ambayo iko hai huwa inachomeka mbele za Mungu na Mungu wetu anafurahia na moto huo unakuja lakini sadaka ambayo haufurahi 
kumfurahishi Mungu hata kutitolea ambaye haifurahishi Mungu na kaa kukuambia hainanga moto huwa imekaa hivi kwa sababu haina moto imemwagiliwa maji ya siasa imemwagiliwa maji ya dhambi imemwagiliwa dhambi ya ya ya, ya wivu imemwagiliwa maji ya division na chuki imemwagiliwa mambo ambayo haifurahishi Mungu sasa hata moto haiwezi ukakuja Praise the name of Jesus. Nataka kukuuliza wewe ukijiwekelea kwa madhabahu can the fire of God come upon your life and consume you na furahia kwa mbinguni. Praise the name of Jesus. Naomba siku ya leo tusaidiwe na Mungu wa mbinguni that we shall know we offer our sacrifice to the rock. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. No more rains. When you keep on the rock Praise the name of the Lord. There is divine multiplication. Biblia inasema ya kwamba Filipo alikuwa amebeba samaki wawili na mikate tano. When he offered them on the hands of the rock, on the hands of the rock of ages, Jesus Christ, there was divine multiplication. Praise the name of Jesus. Do you want your sacrifice to multiply? Hallelujah. Give your sacrifice on the right place. Know that Jesus he is our place of sacrifice na ndio Abraham alijua ya kwamba yeye wakati anaenda kutoa dhabihu atawacha atawacha summons wake atawacha punda huko chini apande mlima Bwana Yesu asifiwe sadaka ambazo zinachomeka ni wale watu wanajitolea hata kupanda mlima peke yao bila kuuliza tunaenda na nani na sadaka ile moto unashuka katika jina la Yesu praise the name of the living god biblia inasema ya kwamba abraham abraham alienda na alipoenda kutoa mtoto wake biblia inasema ya kwamba akaambiwa hapo nyumba yako praise the name of the lord unasikia sauti ya buzi imeshikwa pembe praise the name of the lord sacrifice inayopendeza mungu unapewa buzi ambayo imeshikwa mapembe kwa vile ziko mrefu na Mungu aliitwa na na na, na Gideon 
Jehovah Shalom. Ukisikia watu wakimuita majina, ni vile wametendewa. Unajua sisi tunaika Bible na tumeruhusiwa Jehovah Shama ever present. Praise the name of the Lord. Jehovah Jire. Na ni mtu aliwacha watu chini na punda akapanda mlima. Mungu wetu atusaidie in Jesus mighty name. Because we want to be blessed in this kingdom. We want divine multiplication in Jesus mighty name. Tusimame tuambie Mungu tusaidie. Sijui kama uko hapo na unasikia kwamba kuna kitu ina siku yanga. Dhabihu yangu ichomeke. Mimi nataka siku ya leo kuachana naye katika jina la Yesu. Oh hallelujah. Nataka kuenda peke yangu kwa Mungu wa mbinguni ili aweze kunitendea mjiza. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh hallelujah.